We have a 1997 R1100 RT. Uh, at some point, someone has replaced all the screws with these fucking stainless aftermarket ones. These screws suck. They are blunt nosed, they're not pointy like the regular BMW ones. And I'm not defending BMW screws because they're fucking shitty black anodized ones that fucking rust in two years are crap too and they're like three dollars a piece not that these stainless ones are all that much less expensive the problem with the stainless ones is they're very difficult to start which leads to people cross threading them and then they keep reefing them in until they fuck up and screws the nut syrup up in the tank that's the case with this one the fucking thing turns and turns and turns and turns and even clamped on with vice grips and pulling on it and turning it, it will not come out. So you are left with nothing to do except to drill the fucker. You need a can of freeze spray or a whole bunch of uh, really cold wet towels, you know, maybe bring a bucket of ice, wa ice water out with ice cubes in it obviously. and. Um, Keep applying it to the fairing because these will melt as you're drilling. Try to drill slow and patient. Remember, we're not trying to drill the whole screw out. We're just trying to drill the fucking head off so we can get the panel removed. We'll deal with the screw after the panel's off. Keep going. Be afraid to take a break for a few minutes, let everything cool down. If you have an infrared heat gun, you can certainly check the temperature of that, which I'll do for you right now. Uh, get one that works. Oops, we're staying cool enough. Actually, I'm going to go up one bit size. We'll be back in a moment. I've gone up one size in the drill bits. Like I said, we're just trying to drill the head of the bolt off. Keep spraying. spray is working well, doing what it's supposed to do. and the fucking head of the screw is removed. The goal with all of this is to not melt the panel. The panel is already scratched 
here because someone's had this issue before. Unfortunately, in my initial attempt with the vice grips, even with fresh duct tape on here, I still nicked a little bit of this back corner. But, you know, in this case, it's unavoidable. The fucking screws cross threaded. There's not much you can do. And it's easy to cross thread these because these because these screws just don't start well. Uh, at least now we can get this panel off and then we'll just figure out what's going on with this brakes. As you can see here, we've drilled the head of this fucking screw off. But if you look, you'll see it's not even lined up properly. And while it might not show up on video very well, it's at an angle, it's cross-threaded. And to give you an example, here's the front hole, which is also not even close. These never, almost never go in straight. Um, it's kind of a shitty design. The, uh, you know, <laughs> that isn't lined up properly. So you need the point, you've got to have the point on the head of the screw to get started and then you can crank your driver over to get it straight and screw it in. That's what holds the panels together. Um, otherwise you're cross threading them and it's very easy, just like in this case, to get it to where it cross threads and locks into the nut cert and then it doesn't fucking come out. So at this point probably the only thing we can do is remove the cap and screw the other panel and the screws and take this whole center section off and just cut this right out because um, these nut certs aren't, aren't replaceable and it's certainly not worth buying a new fuel tank just because one screw won't go back in just cut the fucker off and forget about it